What well, is February? And that means it is heart month and it's time to talk about our heart health and joining us today, the chief of the division of cardiology at Mercy Health St. Rita's. We've got Dr. Baki and thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay. So, you know, we talk about keeping our heart healthy, but what are the symptoms of something's not right if we're having some heart trouble? Yeah, sure. So this question comes up all the time. Uh, well, when it comes to heart disease, there are uh, uh, different different symptoms that a patient should look at and should look for. Uh, the common symptoms are chest discomfort, chest pain, and shortness of breath. Those are the classic, typical symptoms. And usually we watch for those when the patient is in an active situation, uh, walking, exercising, etc. That would be very typical and very concerning. Um, and if we're dealing with anything electrical, arrhythmia, slow heartbeat, fast heartbeat, uh, we would look at things like uh, dizziness, lightheadedness, uh, blacking out, uh, palpitation, rapid heartbeat, that would be more electrical. Yeah, again, these are the typical symptoms. Of course, when we talk about heart disease, there are the, the, the not common or uncommon or uh, not classic symptoms, uh, such as uh, arm pain, uh, a pain between the shoulder blades, uh, neck, jaw pain. Those are the symptoms that we worry about most because patients tend to ignore them. They don't pay attention to them. And, and, and patients should be aware that it's not always chest pain, shortness of breath, palpitation. It could be other signs and symptoms that they need to keep an eye on. Okay, so is there a difference between men and women too? I mean, do we all have the same symptoms? And and that's that's a that's a great question. That takes us to that to that next step. And and historically, men and women are not different, but but there's the misconception that women are more safe or more protected when it comes to heart disease. And and that's not a fact. This is not true. Women should worry about heart disease as much as as men. The minor difference, and it's really minor. It's it's a little bit over exaggerated. That some, um, women tend to have more of the atypical symptoms: the the arm pain, the jaw pain, the pain between shoulder blades a little bit more more than men and therefore that's why we we want to make sure that women pay attention to those atypical symptoms uh, but the concept or the, the 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 misconception that women have less heart disease than men is, is not correct they they should look at it they should look look for it they look at the symptoms they they should not ignore it that's for sure okay so the other thing is that people like to like well i don't feel that great i'll just drive myself to the emergency room i mean you should call 911 yeah. on these situations if you're having. Yeah, well, look, and this is this is again, this this is heart. You know, we call it time is equivalent to heart muscle. Heart muscle. You know, we don't want the heart muscle to die. We don't want the patient. Many times, patients show up, unfortunately, a day later. They have survived a heart attack. They made it great, but then when they show up a day later, I can't help them as much as I I could if they they showed up uh, two or three hours after the beginning of the event. So that's why. Don't sit and wait when you're having chest pain and you say, well, it will pass, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. It might not be okay. Again, we're not even talking life and death here. Even if they survived it, they are putting themselves in a bad spot where I can't help them as much as if I catch the patient the first one or two or three hours after the beginning. So yes, go call 911, go to the ER, do not hesitate if you're having those symptoms. Don't just sit and wait until it goes away. Right, and yeah, you know, we know we're still dealing with the pandemic and we hear about the hospitals being full, but if you're in tune to your heart health and you know something's wrong, you know, still get yourself there. Absolutely, and, and COVID has caused a little bit of, uh, again, a, a, a little bit of a, a chaos. Uh, and I've had many patients in the last two years where they decided, you know, I'll just sit and wait because the ER is, uh, is not a, a safe place or it's a dangerous place or I don't want to catch COVID. And actually, that's that's wrong. You will you will likely catch COVID at a restaurant or a funeral or a wedding more than in the emergency room, because in the ER, patients are tested, and we know who has it and who does not. And therefore, we we always seclude or or, or isolate the patients that have had the positive test. And therefore, you're safe. Do not let your heart go into a bad situation just sitting there waiting. Uh, until the pandemic passes or whatever. Because, you know, I've, ha I've heard patients saying, I was waiting for the pandemic to pass. Well, look, this this could be a while. So, uh, so yes, do not worry about COVID status. If you need to be in the ER, go to the ER. Right. Some great stuff for our heart health doctor. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank All you. Right. Don't Thank go away. You. Noon Edition continues in a moment. Doug and Dudley here for Thermal Guard.